In this video, I will share with you an idea on how to use 6x6 paper and project lifestyle cards on a 12x12 layout. All the products I'm using today are from Stampin' Up! The 6x6 paper pad and the project lifestyle cards are from the Petal Garden collection. The first step is to select three pieces of cardstock that coordinate with the printed paper. I'm trimming the white paper to 8.5 inches by 8.5 inches. These pieces of cardstock will form my foundation page, but I find it a little heavy, so I decide to stamp the largest piece of cardstock with a swirly circle design and Versamark. The idea here is simply to create an abstract design, tone on tone, um, just to lighten up the paper a bit. And the stamp I used comes from the Swirly Bird collection from Stampin' Up! In a moment you will notice I select three pieces of printed paper from the 6x6 paper pad. And when I select the paper, I'm careful to choose one uh, pattern that has a looser design, another pattern that has a tighter design, and a tone-on-tone -tone paper. What I want here are different um, weights with the paper, different scales of print. But I don't want the photo to get lost in the printed paper, so I make a photo mat for the paper. The photo already had a white border, but I didn't find it had enough contrast against the printed paper, so I added another one. And what I'm going to do here is simply add um, layers of paper behind the photo. Now you'll notice in the photo the predominant color is probably blue. That's the color of my sister's sweater. It's also the color of my father's shirt, but there is no blue in the paper whatsoever. For this page, I decided to select paper to match the theme more than the photo. Um, this is Thanksgiving in 2001, and I went to my home in Nova Scotia to celebrate. To me, this floral paper seemed kind of homey, almost like an old-fashioned kitchen. So I like it with this photo, even though it doesn't match the colors in the photo per se. Once I've made my photo mat, I start looking for decoration. So I select some cards from the, um, the card kit that comes with this collection, and I put one at the bottom left and one in the top right corners. And that's the beginnings of my clusters. What I'm doing here is making a diagonal design on this page. That's an apron, and in a minute you'll see some oven mitts, and I made those with the Apron of Love bundle from Stampin' Up! I did a separate video showing how I made these decorations and I put the link in the comments below. Now I'm getting out these stickers and the card kits at, with Stampin' Up! come with a couple sheets of stickers as well. They're kind of fun. So what I'm doing here is I'm building up these two corners with decorations. Now you'll notice here this card that's written Picture Perfect. That is going to be my title as well as a place where I will eventually put my journaling. And you may wonder why I'm using this title with this photo. As a matter of fact, you may be wondering why this photo even merits its own page. It's not that good of a photo actually. It's dark. Someone's arms there that's not even in the photo. It's not well composed, but to me it represents a fond family memory and for that reason it's very important. This was taken Thanksgiving 2001, 17 years ago. Um, the table was nice, the family was all there, and a cat jumps on the table. Now a normal family might knock the cat off, but we all thought it was cute. And my brother-in-law gets a fork and a knife and pretends to start carving the cat, Cosmo, pretending he was the turkey. Cosmo wasn't harmed and it was all in good fun. Also in the photo is my sister and my parents and all three of them are no longer here today. 
that is even more of a reason why this photo is very meaningful to me. So what I'm saying here is a photo that seems pretty ordinary can become very extraordinary. And it does so even more when you accompany the photo with words. So I'm finishing off my page here by just drawing some lines around the uh, layers of paper, around the layers of white paper to add some contrast. And all I did off camera was add the text to the bottom of the page as well as ruffle up the paper that is underneath the photo. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you like this video and would like to see more, feel free to subscribe to Scrapbooking Quebec. I would be forever grateful. Thank you very much and have a good day.